Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. Welcome to another episode of From the Cutting Room Floor here on Jedi TV. These are, as I said previously, short episodes that allow me to share footage from a match that wasn't used on any previous episode. This is a great opportunity for me to share shooters and stages with you in a different format instead of just having that footage sit unseen on a hard drive in the studio. And speaking of studios, as you can see, I'm back here in Southern Oregon. And while I'm here, I'm hoping to load a bunch of footage from that shootout at Saddle Butte onto an external drive so that I can edit the stages from that match while I'm coming and going. I know several of you have commented and asked about footage from that match. So I wanna bring you those stages soon ish and speaking of comments here on youtube several of you commented about the jail bars that were used on a couple of stages at aces and eights these bars were quite challenging to shoot around so i thought i'd show you how i approached the stage i wanted to get my hands out in front of the bars not on the outside of the bars like a lot of other folks shot the stage as a gunfighter i just felt more comfortable with my guns and hands all the way through the jail bars. So when the stage instructions were being read, I stuck my arms through the bars to sort of shadow shoot at the targets. Well, what I discovered is that my roping cuffs hung up when I went to pull my, my arms back out of the, of the bars, which could have been really awkward had I done that on the clock while shooting the stage. It's not that it would have been dangerous, mind you, as just a slight tug would have freed my arms and allowed me to holster my revolvers and then move on and shoot the rest of the stage. But it would have been awkward and time consuming. So my solution was to simply remove my cuffs prior to shooting the stage. So grab your shooting glasses and let's take a look at how that stage went for me. Where's the beef? Stand by. <laughs> Send it on range. All right. And speaking of shooting clean, as I mentioned in the Aces and Eights main match episode, I did shoot the match clean this year. That means no misses and no procedural penalties. So I'll leave you this week with my final stage from the match, as well as my reaction to shooting clean. Now, if you enjoy this episode and this format, be sure to hit that like button. Maybe even share it on your Facebook or Twitter. Leave me a comment down below. I do read them and I try to respond to them all as well. I'm Jedi Knight and I'll see you in some other place in some other time. Like probably at Kook's graduation from beauty school. Let me know down in the comment section if you'd like to come along for that adventure. So, uh, progressive. Lawrence Welk, IRS, it's all by the numbers. Stand by. Clean match. <laughs> That's the way to finish. That was nice. That was nice. Thanks, was. man. I knocked that it back a little on the pistol. That was good. Two, five, seven, five. Clean. And clean. Notched it back a little on the pistols to stay clean. Good Felt good. good Kuki. Good eye. Oh, let's go clear that. Sorry. I'm so excited about a clean match. That means no misses and no procedural penalties. Pentel teeth.